the squirrels. Also sounds like uh, our great horned owl patient still needs eye drops. In her 12 years of being a vet, Emily Davenport thought she had seen it all. At this facility, I've never seen anything like that. This is patient 24-442. She's a red fox, only a few months old, supposed to be learning the ins and outs of wildlife until this week. We got a call yesterday around 1230 that said there was a red fox at large that had an arrow sticking out of her. This is when animal control arrived on scene. Vets estimate the arrow was stuck in her for up to three days. Yeah, it was that long. Her body is probably actually no uh, wider than this piece of gauze. Animal control rushed her to the Rocky Mountain Wildlife Alliance for emergency medical care. If she had not been brought in for medical attention, it would have absolutely been detrimental to her life. As lucky as she could be. It didn't hit any vital tissues. It didn't hit her airway. It didn't hit any major blood vessels. And most importantly, it didn't hit her spine. It just missed it all. Arvada Animal Management says it was a practice arrow. Now they're searching for its owner. This animal was found in just a residential neighborhood in Arvada. So not out in the woods, not anywhere where you would be legally uh, or ethically allowed to hunt. Emily and her team say this shouldn't have happened. There's other ways we can coexist with foxes in our neighborhood and um, we don't have to use lethal means to do so. Because after all, foxes aren't cats. But maybe this one is lucky enough to have more than one life. Maybe we're in the middle, like four or five lives. She definitely used one of them. <laughs> now, a hunter would normally make sure the animal they shoot is dead so it doesn't suffer. But since the fox was found alive, the person who shot the arrow could be facing animal cruelty charges. If you know anything about who may have done this, call Arvada Animal Control. Rhea Jha,